with more damage and destruction. Downtown Portland once again the target last night for breaking windows and other vandalism. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Brittany Folgers. Police declared a riot and made six arrests. And if this sounds familiar, it's because it is. Tim Gordon talked to people who were enjoying downtown Portland today about what's been happening at night. You know, our day started by coming to downtown Portland and seeing the boarding up and damage from the latest destruction last night. But then we realized it's a beautiful day at Pioneer Courthouse Square. People are out and about. So we decided to talk to them about this tale of two cities. Night after night, we're seeing the dark side of Portland, a group of people doing what they call direct action, and the action is destructive. Shattering glass, then police make some arrests and find things like knives, slingshots, and hammers in the process. I don't see no sense in breaking windows. In the light of day, the square looks great, with folks enjoying some sun on the bricks. But native Portlander Ricky Grixby is also seeing the damage and calling it out. That's stupid. I, you know, I don't mind marching up the street, you know, and everything, but, and then you're going to start breaking windows? No. At a table nearby, three guys are enjoying a meal and conversation that had turned to Portland and what's happening. We are all live in this, you know, around the city core, and uh, it's really quite nice. Um, and uh, a lot of the stigma uh, we find is, you know, kind of, Overrated. That said, Evan does not agree with the vandals' tactics, and neither does his friend Taylor, who did not mince words. And I think if they're trying to counter, you know, maybe some of the extreme conservatives, they're at least as moronic as the Proud Boys. Any of these fools out there getting in fights, you know, threatening people, it makes no sense to me. At another table was Natalie Torres and her children. The whole family came up from Monmouth to visit the city they love, and Natalie noticed. That all the windows are boarded up, there's a lot of tagging, there's a lot of trash on the sidewalks. A city known for food carts and a friendly way is still a great place to be, but the nighttime violence and destruction we found no support for today. Yeah, it's pointless to me. I don't think that there's a need for it. I think what needs to be heard is being heard. And Hello? Then, then there's just people that are adding chaos just because they have nothing better to do. Tim Gordon, KGW News.